this is force 13 and in this update we have a look at X how it can raise in our tropical storm heavy rain for the desert southwest the Great Lakes region this is some of the information that is currently available Heavy rainfall has made a return to much of Arizona in the southeast of California. This tropical storm raised the tracks towards the northeast and is forecast to make landfall on the northern Baja California coast uh, Monday evening. This is a view of the city of Phoenix. Watch remains in effect from 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time Monday until 5 a.m. Mountain Standard Time Wednesday for the following in Arizona, Oak Creek, and Sycamore Canyons. Here are the 11 p.m. regional observations. At Flagstaff Airport, skies were cloudy. Temperature was 56 degrees and the relative humidity was 71%. Winds were southwest at 10 miles an hour. Pressure was 30.25 inches and rising. It was cloudy at the Grand Canyon Airport. Temperature was 60 degrees and the relative humidity was 59%. Pressure was 30.21 inches and falling. In Prescott skies were cloudy. Temperature was 64 degrees and the relative humidity was 69%. Pressure was 30.15 inches and steady. It was cloudy in Winslow and the temperature was 67 degrees. The relative humidity was 45%. Pressure was 30.11 inches and rising. At Page, skies were cloudy. Temperature was 71 degrees and the relative humidity was 43%. Pressure was 30.03 inches and rising. At Sedona, skies were mostly cloudy. Temperature was 66 degrees and the relative humidity was 59%. Pressure was 30.15 inches and steady. In Williams, skies were cloudy. Temperature was 59 degrees and the relative humidity was 63%. The winds were south at 10 miles an hour. Pressure was 30.21 inches and falling. Here are other observations. Throughout the southwest, skies ranged from mostly cloudy to cloudy. It was 74 at Phoenix, 81 at Las Vegas, and 71 at Kingman. The following is a flash flood watch for the Prescott listening area. Flash Flood Watch now in effect through late Tuesday night. The Flash Flood Watch is now in effect for a portion of West Central Arizona, including the following areas, Yavapai County Mountains and Yavapai County Valleys and Basins. Through late Tuesday night, abundant tropical moisture from the remnants of Hurricane Rosa will begin to affect northern Arizona this afternoon, with some locally heavier showers and thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall. The heaviest rain from the remnants of Rosa is expected for Monday evening through late Tuesday night. Widespread rainfall amounts of 2 to 3 inches are forecast, with locally higher amounts of around 4 inches over south-facing mountain slopes. Localized flash flooding of urban areas and small streams may occur during periods of heavy rain. In addition, larger streams and rivers could experience significant rises and possible flooding due to the widespread heavy rainfall. A flash flood watch means that developing conditions may lead to flash flooding within the watch area. People, especially those located along area creeks, rivers or other flash flood prone areas, should continue to monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take immediate action should flash flood warnings issued. Repeating, the flash flood watch has been extended until 5 a.m. Mountain Standard Time Wednesday for the following locations in Arizona, Yavapai County Mountains and Yavapai County Valleys and Basins. That is some of the uh, information that is being carried uh, in the latest National Hurricane Center's advisory on the tropical storm. It's located 26 decimal 7 degrees north, 117 degrees west. It's about 325 miles south-southwest of San Felipe, Mexico. Maximum state winds 50 miles per hour, tracking northeast at 12 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure is 994. This is the life of the system up to a few hours ago. Tropical storm warning remains in place and a tropical storm watch 
for the east coast of the Baja California uh, Peninsula from Bay of De Los Angeles to San Felipe. Interests elsewhere in the northern central Baja California Peninsula, northwestern Sonora should monitor the progress of Rosa. Now we have a look at the uh, NOAA Slotus. The tropical storm is expected to move across the planetary into the northern Gulf of California tonight and Rose's remnants are then expected to move across the desert southwest on Tuesday and as mentioned maximum staying winds decrease to 50 miles per hour with higher gusts. Additional weakening is forecast through tonight while Rose uh, approaches and moves over the northern Baja California Peninsula and it's expected to dissipate over northwestern Mexico or the southwestern United States by Tuesday. Tropical storm force winds except outward up to 150 miles from the center and as mentioned minimum central pressure 994. And three key messages in the advisory. Rainfall Baja California, Northwest and Sonora, 3 to 6 inches, isolated 10 inches. These rainfall amounts may produce life threatening flash flooding, dangerous debris flows, landslides, also possible in the mountainous terrain, wind and surf. And this is the GFS, actually, it's another. Uh, model on the uh, Pivotal Weather website. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.